Why, hello everybody, welcome back to Rob's Arcade. I'm your host, of course, Mr. Rob French. And I'm coming back at you guys with a little bit more New Game Friday. I know what you're thinking, it's not Friday, dude, but it's my show and I can do whatever the heck I want. So we're kind of just continuing on. I didn't want to wait till Friday to bring you guys uh, more Alien. I'm hoping to actually see some Alien in Alien Isolation. This is kind of the whole point of all of this. So hopefully see some alien. Zuh. Uh, but yeah, for those of you who aren't familiar, just real quick, New Game Friday uh, isn't necessarily um, about new games or new titles. These are simply new games or new titles in my library. Or games or titles that I have in my library and I have not done an existing video on yet. Or perhaps it's none of those things and it's not even Friday at all. You guys figure it out. So we're coming back with part four, Alien Isolation. This is something I wanted to do. I uh, mentioned yesterday in some of the other videos. If you haven't seen those, go back and check those out. But uh, PlayStation is doing a end of the year sale right now. So I got this game super duper cheap, well worth it. Uh, highly recommend you guys hitting that store and grabbing some deals of your own. Uh, if you've you know got somebody in your family who's a gamer, Maybe your boyfriend, your girlfriend, husband, wife. You know, you can maybe pick up something that'll bring you guys a little closer together over the holidays. Something you can maybe even play together. Or if, you know, you feel like you've just been an extra special good boy or girl and you want to treat yourself to something nice, there are tons of titles on there under $10. Like, you don't even have to spend $10 on yourself. You know, you can just even for like 8 bucks, pick up a pretty cool game. And uh, I've really been enjoying this Alien Isolation. Uh, very, very fun, creepy game so far. I got a little frustrated with it last night. <clears throat> had to take a little bit of a break. And, uh, came back this morning to it, and I've been having a lot of fun. So I wanted to kind of pick back up where I left off with you guys last night and jump back into, um, where I was kind of stuck. And I feel like an idiot. The more you collect... As a survivor. Mm -hmm. I wonder, I so say this this game takes place 15 years after the original film. It focuses on Ripley's daughter, Amanda Ripley. And I have to wonder if, you know, the original Sigourney Weaver character, uh, if she found out her daughter was being terrorized by the same alien creature she was being terrorized by, like, what that might do to her. I was actually thinking about that last night after playing this game. Um, you know, uh... Contact the Torrens. So, like, okay, so this is where I got kind of caught up. So this, I kept coming back to this area over and over and over and over again. Um, you know, I, I kept thinking, uh... It had something more to do, like the next step in the game had something more to do with the terminals. I mean, I'm hitting every terminal last night. I'm such an idiot. Running all around, trying to figure everything out. I kept backtracking back up here. You know, oh, where, do I, where do I go? Do I go here? Is it out here somewhere? All back in there. And I kept coming back to this area, though. I'm like, I feel like the focus is definitely on this area. Let's go ahead and play this again. Julia Jones, today's update. After numerous demands, Marsha Waits finally called a public meeting to address the rumors that have been circulating on Sevastopol. But instead of the answers we wanted, he continued to be evasive, and after only a few mm -hmm. minutes, he and his team were pelted by projectiles from an angry crowd. A gun was fired, there was panic, and now Waits and what's left of his team are forcibly ejecting us from the terminal. Feels like we're on our own now. Uh, typically the way in alien movies. So I kept like I said, running around, trying to figure out, where do I go? Where do I go? What do I do? You know, like, I walked around this whole area, like, a thousand times. So I was like, oh, looking up. And then I remembered, like, there are, there is a certain, <clears throat> what is it about sci-fi movie spaceships and, like, air terminals and, and exhaust terminals and air vents? It seems to be, like, the downfall of any ship. Like, you can have uh, all these, like, air locking and secure door measures and safety you know, procedures or whatever, but... Oh, look right here. 
open vent. I ran around this entire place for like 45 minutes after I stopped doing the videos yesterday, trying to figure out where do I go next? Oh, how about that? I'll be. Now it's pretty dark. Uh, one of the things I do not like about the game, I feel like it's too dark. Um, the hell is that in here? All right, that's freaky. Uh, but yeah, I feel like almost like it's too dark in that they can get away with like a bit more, well, of course not maybe in the vent. Um, but more of uh, just better lighting all in all in some of the areas of the game while you're trying to explore. I know they're trying to kind of keep it scary. Kind of creepy. There's a cat or something in here with me. Damn raccoons always on these spaceships. Um, but yeah, just exploring the game. This reminds me so much of uh, the, the sequel to Alien. Oh, something just came through here. Look at that. Okay, this is pretty creepy. It's like, I want to see an alien, because I feel like, you know, that's, um... Ah. That's kind of part of this whole thing, is like, you know, finding the alien and whatever, or looking for alien, but I don't know if I actually want to see... I actually want to see one. Uh, this was something else again I, place is falling apart. I kind of uh struggled with yesterday and trying to figure out okay like well where are you supposed to go from here and as you can see all this is kind of like blocked off um i'm just gonna throw this actually <clears throat> way out there and then actually have to come back here and i didn't realize this i spent another like 15 20 minutes just kind of walking around here in the dark but, oh, you use this. Use. Now that gets out of your way. And then you can kind of, like, squat down here and uh, make sure you collect your scrap. And uh, kind of maneuver through this thing here. But, like, like, as I said, like, I feel like a lot of this is too dark. You could almost get away with just a bit more light and exploring, you know, the area and stuff and still, you know, keep it pretty creepy and scary. Uh, she's smoking a joint while she's walking through the ship, apparently, which I don't blame her. What the sh... No, okay. All right, you have to go back and freeze frame that. There was definitely like an alien or something just walked through there. I gotta go up there? Are you shitting me right now? Oh my gosh. What was that? That sounded more like footsteps. See, this is what I'm talking about here. Like, it's just a little too... <clears throat> it's a little too dark. How do I get over there? Through, oh, here we go. Maybe through here. You see, that's like, I mean, like, it's just a little, just a little bit more light. Even like a, a slight strobe effect, I feel like, would kind of help. And then some of the controls, I haven't really quite figured out. Like this whole building, your uh, med kit, little lightsaber thing here. Um, apparently, I don't have a bonding component to put this together. Like, I've been trying to figure out this. I'm like, I got 50 scrap. All I need is 10 scrap plus one compound, an injection, but then I need a bonding agent, which I have zero bonding agents. Um, but I spent a, a lot of time last night just trying to figure out like why I couldn't put together a little uh, med kit, which I feel like I'm going to be needing at some point here pretty soon. 
But overall, like, I really do enjoy this game. I'm a huge fan, uh, like I said, if you've been listening to the other episodes, just a huge fan of the franchise in general. Uh, all of this, the sounds, it all feels very much um, part of the alien world, especially like the first two uh, films. The, uh, I like this right, like the Jurassic Park powering the ship back up. <laughs> Yeah, like the franchise kind of took a weird turn after uh, Aliens, um, and I do like all of the sequels, Alien Three, uh, Alien Resurrection. Those are all very cool movies. Alien Three, I think, is the one where they're on like the uh, like the, the prison ship world or whatever. Yes. And then uh, she herself gets infected and they clone her in Resurrection. Maintenance jack required. That's something else to like. So I need like an ion torch, a maintenance jack. I hope I don't have to like... Was that a can or is that that clicking noise that they make? Oh, that was just a can. I might hear that like ticking noise that those guys sometimes make. Need a, a plasma torch. Oh, dude, I needed an ion torch before. Now I need a plasma. Whoa, come on. It's kind of ridiculous, guys. Like, I hope I don't have to like take scrap and construct all of this stuff. Ooh, that does not look uh, promising. Ion torch, plasma torch. Apparently, nobody uses keys <laughs> on this ship. Everybody just pretty much like blow torches uh, their way through here. I'll be, I gave this game a 7 bits out of 8 bits. Um, mainly, like I said, just taking points away for uh, the, the navigational aspect of the game. It's a little too easy to get turned around and I lose track of where you're going like I'm doing now. There go, back through this way. And that's where I came through. Just making sure I'm checking everything out. Don't miss anything here. And this circles back around. Is anything? I've got some luggage over here. Now you would think searching the luggage would be a good idea. Somebody might have even packed a plasma or an ion torch I could use. Back through here. Oh shh! Oh my God! That literally. Mm. I don't know. I might throw in another. Uh, exit up ahead. I might have to give this thing another like half point or so because <sighs> hold on <clears throat> man that simple light popping just literally I mean I've had some coffee this morning but I swear hopefully I do not have a heart attack 
while playing this game. And my wife comes home to find me. She's like, I can't leave you alone for the weekend because you drink too much coffee and you play these scary games and you have a heart attack. Now you're dead. I just like even like this whooshing of the ship. Oh shit. See, I hear they're like that gurgle. Those things make, and I do not like it. Do not like it at all, sir. Oh, what does the calendar say? Oh, no way. That's so cool. Now, is this actually... Hold on. I'm going to do something real quick here. Got a little bit of time. In the video. Um, it was alien... What? No. Aloe. Alien movie timeline. So. No, oh, I want the full timeline. Here we go. Cinema Blend. Thank you, Cinema Blend. Alright. So, the first one. I'm looking for Alien. Alien Covet. Alien. So, oh, wow, yeah, that is. It's 15 years later. That's so cool. I only have to pull out my calculator to do the math on that one. That was pretty easy. But yeah, like, I feel like this game, it needs more sparkies lighting up, kind of giving you, um, but I love this. I love all of this stuff. All these, like, so, again, the, uh, oh, here we go. Let's play this real quick. Chris, it's Turner. Gotta deal with that wasted asshole again. This time, he nearly wrecked the door with a maintenance jack. That's what I need. Safe here. Wants to lock himself in. Screw him. We got too much to worry about without babysitting drunks. Anyway, I threw him in the evidence lockup. Let the son of a bitch sleep it off. All right, well, maybe I need to find him. He's got a maintenance jack. But yeah, like I said, I just I love. I was kind of talking about earlier, like um, you know the. The third Alien movie, uh, it gets like a really wet, nasty... Okay, that must have done like a pain in the ass of a movie to shoot all the time. Because it's just like always wet and slimy and gross prison world kind of thing. And uh, Alien Resurrection kind of holds on that same... Oh, here we go. Save game. Kind of holds on that same look and feel uh, that, you know... Yes, it's a futuristic world that's lived in, and it's oily, and it's greasy, but there's something not as um, inviting in that world as I feel like, especially in the first, again, two Alien movies. Um, and what I mean by that is, I, I kind of touched on this a little bit, but watching the first two Alien movies especially the, the original, there is something about just some of the scenes where they're sitting around the table or they're just in a lab and just the actual setting. There's something about just the actual set design, the look of everything, the, the way the crew feels when they're sitting around the table having coffee together, um, which I feel like it does. it's not just that one time in the movie where the guy has the, 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 the alien burst through his stomach. I feel like it happens at least twice in the movie to kind of give you this like uh, feeling that these guys are, you know, um, almost like any other office job or like, um, you know, like a landscaping crew that first thing in the morning before they head out and start taking care of all the different lawns, you know, they're having coffee and donuts uh, around the table together. And so there's something very, and this sounds probably so retarded, but there's something, and pardon me for even using that word if that offends you, but there is something so like calming and soothing to me about watching those scenes in the movie, even though the movie Alien itself is very terrifying and it gets the adrenaline going and like even stuff like I just saw like will make you jump and you can't tell if it's a alien tentacles or if it's like just poses and pipes swinging from the ceiling. Uh, and it's truly terrifying film to watch. There is something, like I said, just very calming and very soothing about those set designs and playing this game there it's fair even though i can't really see everything uh <clears throat> when the game first started off and you're first just kind of walking around the ship before everything kind of goes haywire 
oh man, it was like I was like living a dream. And I love the cassette tape um, save feature, and then everything feels very 80s. Um, I. It's like a back in high school, man. I just got shoved in the locker. But yeah, no, there is something very like uh I don't know. Charming. I guess charming is a very good word to use, but very charming about this video game and the way it looks and how it mirrors that same charm um from the from the films. That just only give me just a wee bit more light to work with. But I love this, the, the, the water leaking. This feels like you're on the set of, uh, like, the Abyss or something. To, you know, just everything's kind of falling apart. Like that right there. That kind of makes me feel like I'm in underwater in the Abyss or something. This dude's room looks like crap. Oh my god, is that blood everywhere? <sighs> oh my gosh, my dog is snoring and I thought it was literally something beside me breathing for a second. I was like, I heard, I saw the blood. And then I hear my dog snoring. And I literally was about to shit my pants just now, you guys. So even though I haven't seen any aliens, this is... Uh, Turning out to be rather, rather creepy. Video game. What are these here? Are these cigarettes? I feel like these were the cigarettes. Everybody was buying or smoking earlier, and they just like buy like a whole. Is that a carton in the future? A carton of cigarettes? <laughs> oh my God! Are those all cigarettes? Holy shit! How long are we going to be in space for, people? Oh, I guess I go down here. More suitcases. Customs. Date. Open it. So you should like go through all this stuff. I'm pretty sure maybe this maybe have some relevance in the canon of Alien that I'm not familiar with. Maybe some of these numbers represent something. Whoa. Oh. Fuck. What? Ah. Okay. Oh, is that to do with the the jack and everything? Oh, that is. That's what. Okay, they locked this dude up, and now I got to get in there. Oh, through the maintenance vents. Right. Where was that thing at? Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> I say, you know, they did the same thing, but that's what I, was, I was just talking about this. Before I had to use the flare to get through. And now they've kind of given me some, like, sparkies to kind of see my way through. See? They know how to do it. They just didn't want to do it. Oh, man. All right, that's R4 telling me it's time to... wrap this up. But don't go anywhere, guys. I'm going to keep going. I think I'm going to play a, a, maybe a couple more rounds today. We haven't found any alien creatures out there, any aliens, but I feel like we're going to run into them. And this feels like uh, some of the original... Ooh, not good. Alien games we used to play. Like I feel like being in the um, air events was always like a big alien kind of moment. Oh, this will be a good one to 
this would be a good shot to end on, right, guys? This is what will probably be the thumbnail for the video. So how perfect. Um, but yes, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. Please do not smoke gold cigarettes. I think those are cigarettes, man. I don't know what the heck those are. Stay away from those. Um, as you can see, they are highly addictive. You'll be buying them by the box load before the end of the week. And speaking of the end of the week, hopefully you guys have had a great week. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and listening to me ramble on about this old video game. I've been having a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying it. And if you're a fan of Alien and a fan of comic books, don't forget to hit the comment section and look for the free codes. In fact, in part three, you will find a free code for a free Alien comic book from Marvel. And as soon as this video loads, I will put in the follow-up comic Alien on this video. So you can get both issues, issue seven and eight of the new Alien story arc, just by watching, hitting the comment section. And I uh, will see you guys very soon. It's not goodbye, simply to be continued. And until next time, don't spend that quarter anywhere else. Later, guys.